Hello, my name is Mitch Franklin. I'm the creator of this course. I'm a faculty member at the Whitman School of Management, Syracuse University, and welcome to Managerial Accounting. So, what are we gonna look at this course? How is this process gonna work? Well, we're gonna learn about what, in my opinion, is one of the most important areas of business, accounting. And accounting is such an important area in business, there are two completely separate languages of accounting. We have financial accounting, and we have managerial accounting. In your last course, you learned about financial accounting, and you learned about how we report financial information to those people outside the organization, how to report information to investors, bankers, other outside regulatory authorities, including the IRS or anybody else who would want to invest in a company. Now, we're going to focus on the other side, what we call managerial accounting. And when we report information in managerial accounting, we're less concerned with those on the outside, but our concern is with those individuals on the inside of the company, reporting to management. How do managers know how well their division is doing in the company? How do employees know how well they're doing within their division of the company? Or how do managers know, hey, you know what? You're doing well, but here are things that we can do to improve and make our operation more efficient. And the one thing that I really want you to take away from accounting, and I'm hoping you're learning this lesson already, but accounting has a functional tie to all areas of business. And the main, one of the main emphasis on this course, as we learn these managerial accounting concepts, is not only what do the numbers mean, but when managers take this accounting information, how does it directly relate to the other functional areas of management? How is managerial accounting related to marketing? How is managerial accounting related to production and operations management? How is managerial accounting related to finance? Because every one of these areas has a direct link. And the decisions that are made in all these other functional departments all come from information provided using managerial accounting data. So I want you to challenge yourself as you're learning, learning this course and going through the material. Think back to your prior work experiences, whatever that experience might be, and think about, hmm, when the professor talks about these concepts, here's how my company currently uses these concepts, or a job that I had four jobs ago, here's how this concept would have applied there. And start thinking about how you can actually apply these skills to your own work experience, and then start thinking about, wow, had I known this previously in work experience, here's how I could have been a better employee. Here's how my company could have been a better place. And I think when you walk out of this course, one of the most important skills you're going to have, you might not remember every formula we're going to talk about, you might not remember every calculation, but you're going to remember at least the big picture of how each of these topics can make somebody a better manager. And just sort of keep that in mind as you're going forward and as you're doing these assignments and as you're trying to master these concepts. Our goal is to be better managers, not accounting experts. We be better managers so we can understand the information that a managerial accountant provides and know they ask the right questions of those people who we work with in order to make us all better within our organization. So I wish you nothing but the best of luck during this course, and um, let's get started.